the United States, we tend to believe that our health is the result of what we eat, whether we exercise or get quality, timely health care. But a large body of research shows that where we live, work, and play have a large role in shaping our health. Aspects of our communities directly affect health through things like crime and violence, and the stress associated with living in an unsafe neighborhood, the quality of housing, transportation, and the environment. Our neighborhoods, job sites, and schools also indirectly shape health through things like the quality of food available to eat and whether there are safe places to exercise or play. These neighborhood conditions tend to be worse for many people of color as a result of residential segregation, which concentrates poverty and excludes and isolates people of color from mainstream resources needed for success. In fact, many U.S. cities are almost as segregated as South Africa was during apartheid. But it doesn't have to be the case that some communities are overburdened with health risks, while other communities enjoy an abundance of health-enhancing resources. Place determines so many things about the way we live. It is not just our geography, but it's also our social place and where we are in the ladder of advancement. And so in a place like Cook County, where you have riches in some places and um, a dearth of resources in others, it is critical that we start looking at place. Since 2006, the Joint Center for Political and Economic Studies has addressed the relationship between place and health through a groundbreaking initiative, Place Matters. Place Matters team members are leaders in their respective communities coming from a variety of sectors, public health, faith leaders, business leaders, grassroots organizations and community-based groups. What we at the Joint Center do is to provide technical assistance to help these teams to do things like building multi-sector coalitions, collecting data to measure neighborhood conditions that shape health and the health status of their communities. Dr. Gail Christopher, currently Vice President of Programs at the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, was the person behind the vision of Place Matters. We believed that if we brought people together, informed them of the newest and the most uh, rapidly developing science around health and the social determinants of well-being, that these community leaders would stand up and take charge and become engaged in creative ways to solve problems. And we've been very excited. Uh, they've addressed issues like infant mortality, asthma, obesity, all from a social determinants perspective. Place Matters seeks to build the capacity of leaders in 16 communities across the country to identify and address neighborhood conditions that shape health. Through technical assistance from the Joint Center and its partners, such as Common Health Action, Place Matters teams are addressing issues such as the need for access to healthy foods, clean and safe environments, adequate housing, good public transportation, and healthy spaces. In addition to providing technical assistance, the Joint Center assists teams in conducting research on the relationship between place and health. The Joint Center's research finds that there is as much as a 33-year difference in life expectancy across different neighborhoods, even those that are just a few miles apart. In Alameda County, an African-American child born in a low-income Oakland flatlands will live on average 15 years less than a white child growing up in the Oakland Hills, which is a more affluent area. So a difference of less than a mile can make years of difference in terms of the quality of your life and the length of your life. The Joint Center also helps teams to frame place as a means to address neighborhood conditions that lead to poor health and also to identify evidence-based policy strategies to reduce the concentration of health risks and help communities draw upon their existing strengths and resources to promote good health. A lot of times when people talk about health and public health, it's a framework that is very medical, it's about health care, it's about treating illness, and if it's not about that, it's about changing people's behaviors. 
Um, and so what we try to do is really int introduce a new concept to the health conversation in Baltimore that is not necessarily about changing behaviors, that we actually have to move a little bit further upstream and look at the, the neighborhood factors and the policy factors that shape behaviors and then therefore shape um, health risk. Really we have to go beyond just looking at sickness and disease and look at the environment because if we can't uh, if people can't live in a, an environment that's supportive of them being healthy, it's really hard to change your lifestyle. Place Matters team members are community leaders from different sectors and walks of life, such as public health, business, the faith community, and grassroots organizations, who come together to build their collective capacity for action. They are building strong coalitions, engaging policymakers and documenting their work to share what they're learning with others. I was invited to participate in Place Matters uh, because I was a principal investigator with a project called the South Valley Partners for Environmental Justice. So uh, as the work as a researcher in, on environmental justice, um, Place Matters itself uh, really helped to give us a perspective uh, on a national level. I've been able to visit uh, other communities and see very similar kind of situations and realize that we're not alone in this struggle. Through Place Matters, we are making efforts to bring people together to, to break down some of the silos. Place Matters in King County manifests in what we call equity and social justice. We had an initiative that we started in 2008 and then in 2010, we actually had it transformed into an ordinance. So it is law in King County now that um, the work that we do be considered through the lens of equity and social justice. I think the opportunity uh, to be part of Place Matters has allowed us to connect on a national level with other communities that are doing this work and so we are learning from the practices of folks in Alameda County and other cities and counties around the country and that has really bolstered our work. Place Matters is looking to transform how we think about health and health inequities. Moving us from narrow approaches that may change a few individuals to a broader approach that seeks to change whole communities to make them healthier and more livable. There was a community group that came to us recently that said, um, you know, for the third time in three months, someone's tried to put a liquor store and a fried chicken shack in a gas station across the street from an elementary school. Why are they even trying this in this neighborhood? It would never happen in XYZ neighborhood. And we were able to connect the dots to the theory share the maps with them and allow them to map that and they were able to go to the hearing and defeat that and and, and so not only those kinds of specific interactions but uh, to really engender an understanding and an appreciation that they can affect those kinds of changes positively in their, in, in their communities. We'll know that we've succeeded when we reduce the concentration of health risks in vulnerable communities and ensure that every community has access to health enhancing resources like grocery stores selling fresh fruits and vegetables, safe places for recreation and play, transportation policies that ensure that people can get to jobs and areas of economic growth without creating a, an additional burden on our climate. If we're successful, the health of Boston overall will improve and we will close the racial and ethnic gap and the inequities that we see. And all Boston residents will have uh, opportunities for optimal health. If we succeed in our work, um, we will have changed the culture in our community. And it will mean that whether you live in the most affluent neighborhood or um, one of the neighborhoods that is just a, a regular working class community, that you will have some of the basics that are necessary to thrive. If we're successful in integrating health and equity into these policy decisions, then I think that we'll, we'll, we'll see those changes in the future. Because currently, right now, when you think about land use and zoning and housing policy and education policy, um, health is not the priority for the most part and I think that we can reorient that discussion so that the next time somebody's talking about a development project or um, citing a liquor store that you know that land use decision is going to be made with the consequences of for health in mind and I think that's something that we'll expect to see in the long run. Ultimately we, ex we expect to see that the health status of our communities will improve and these kinds of initiatives will make the biggest difference toward ensuring that everybody has an equitable opportunity for good health. This is the future of health. This is Place Matters.